Hello, good night. Hello, JC. How are you? You're good? <laughs> so, 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 más o menos, so, so. Hey, hello, Janet. Janet, how are you tonight? Good night. I'm fine, thank you. Nice, nice, nice to hear that, nice to hear that. Okay, I'm receiving a lot of things here. Oh, man. What is going on? Yes, there it is. Good job. Okay, let's see. So for today, we're going to finish section number five because tomorrow we need to practice, tomorrow and the next day, we need to practice present continuous and si in simple present. Um, quiero terminar la sección cinco hoy para que mañana y el siguiente día solo tengamos práctica eh, de presente continuo y pre sim eh, presente simple, ¿ok? Eso para que podamos practicar Preguntas, respuestas, preguntas, respuestas, todas las que tenemos en lista, porque necesitan eh, practicarlo, ya sea para um, eh, tener todas las preguntas de información y las eh, serían las, las estructuras, estructuras y preguntas de información. Ok, so, esperemos quienes más se pueden conectar en este momento. Solo tengo seis participantes. Janet, Mauricio. Hey, hello, Mauricio. Hey, nice shirt. Bonita camisa, eh? Bonita camisa. Gracias. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see Alejandra, Jason. So, good night. Thank you for coming for, to the class, okay? So, let's see what we have for practice today. Vamos a ver en qué nos quedamos el día de ayer. I'm going to share the PowerPoint. Voy a, voy a compartir la PowerPoint que tenemos para el día de hoy. En esto vamos el día de ayer. Ok, ya tenemos la PowerPoint. Veamos quiénes más se integran. Muy poquitos estamos en este momento. Como dijimos que se, de, se decía, se les pegó la cobija. ¿Se acuerdan? Ayer decíamos, se les pegó la cobija. ¿Cómo lo decimos? No. They. Les... They. They. Uh, over. They overslept. They overslept. They overslept. Se les pegó la cobija. They overslept. So, a los demás se les pegó la cobija. They overslept. Más un poquito más. Hey Kevin, how are you, Kevin? I'm fine, teacher. Good night. Good night. You you look tired. Are you tired? Se ve cansado. Yeah. Too much work, mucho trabajo. Yes. Man, that's um, I'm uh, working in, in construction. In construction. You, you, you're making uh -huh. houses? My house. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. Nice. Nice. Okay. Hey. Who's coming? Who's coming? Let's see who's coming. Man, I'm going to send an invitation again because not that many people is in this class. Let me send one more time. Here they go. Okay, let's wait and see who's coming back. A ver quién se conecta rápido. Teacher. Yep. 
what is the correct pronunciation uh, the word construction construction oh, construction 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 okay thank you también está la palabra build b u i l d build build so build. Si yo, build si yo digo si yo quiero decir eh, yo construyo casas entonces yo digo mm. I, I build houses mm. pero si lo quiero eso es en presente simple pero si lo quiero utilizar en presente continuo yo voy a decir I'm building houses I am building houses estoy construyendo casas es diferente que en presente simple decir I build houses yo construyo casas so, son diferentes tiempos los cuales se diferencian porque el presente continuo lleva ing en el verbo, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Good. ¿Alguien que tenga otra pregunta? ¿Any more questions? No. Muy bien. Ajá. Ok, comencemos. Pues ya esperamos bastante, eso. Vamos a comenzar. Y... Let's go to this scene. Okay, this was yesterday's exercise. Este fue el ejercicio del día de ayer. So, continuamos después de esto. Okay, y viene la, la siguiente lección, la cual dice la Shinman Indicator. Successfully learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Dice, vamos a sonar naturales al usar las palabras can y can't. Estas son positivas para decir yo puedo o yo no puedo. O tú no puedes, o tú puedes. Son, son las palabras que nos va a permitir hablar de habilidades. Ok, leamos todos. Successfully learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Todos. Successfully learn Successfully to learn sound natural, to natural when, when using can and can't. Ok, vamos. Ok, tenemos la primer, lo primero que vemos ahí. This is the first thing we, we have, is the pronunciation of can and can't. So, veamos acá. So, escuchemos. Page 66. Exercise 6. Pronunciation. Can and can't. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. Ok. Como verán, la pronunciación acá eh, en positivo, en positivo es can, así como se escribe. Pero en negativo hacemos un esfuerzo extra, un poquito más fuerte, para pronunciar la T. Oigan bien. I can act. Yo puedo actuar. But I can't sing very well. Entonces hago un poquito de fuerza para sonar más duro para eh, determinar la T. Escuchen otra vez. I can act, but I can't sing very well. Ok. So, continuemos. Veamos cómo, se, cómo lo hacemos en la práctica. Y esto es para el foro o discusión. Ok. So, todos conmigo. What sports you can't play? Todos. What sports you can't play? What sports you can't play? What sports you can't play? Bye. Eh, nótense que yo hago un esfuerzo extra para que ustedes escuchen lo que, o sea, en hablar a diario y hablar, decir esto en negativo se hace natural, pero eso solo usándolo muchas veces. En cambio, en este momento estoy haciéndolo el poquito más después para que ustedes oigan la diferencia. Okay? Otra vez. What sports you can't play? What sports you can't play? Good. I can't play tennis, polo, rugby, and gymnastics. Todos. I can't play polo, rugby, and gymnastics. I can't. Play tennis, polo, rugby, and gymnastics. 
I can, I can play tennis or gymnastics. What abilities you can't do? What, what abilities, abilities you, can you can do? do. No, no, no. Alguien me está diciendo you can do. Es decir, ahí está diciendo lo positivo. What abilities you can't do? Todos. What, 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 what abilities, abilities you can't can do. do? I can't play the guitar, the piano, and the violin. I can't play the piano. I mean, I can't play the guitar, the piano, and the violin. I can't, I I can't play, play the guitar, the piano, and the, piano, and the, piano, and the violin. violin. What, talent, what talents you can't do? What, what talents, talents, talents you, can't you can't do? do? What talents you can't do? What, what talents, talents, you talents you can't, talents can't do? do? I can't act, I can't do magic. I can't do I can't do magic. I can't act. I can't do magic. I can't act. I can't do magic. I can't act. I can't do magic. Can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't Bueno, como en esto me quiero cerciorar de que aquí están haciendo la correcta pronunciación, lo vamos a practicar todos, ¿ok? Yes. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's start with Abran. Abran? Hello, Abran? Abraham? Okay, there you go. I'm sorry, you can't land the It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, vamos a comenzar con. con... ¿Quién estaba antes? Let me see. <coughs> Okay, Karen. Karen, are you there? Hi. Yes, okay, uh, I'm here. Okay, Karen, what sports you can't play? I can't play tennis, polo, rugby, and gym gymnastic. gymnastics. Gymnastics, yeah. Very good. What abilities you can't do? Karen? I can't. I can't play the guitar, the piano, and the violin. What talents you can't do? <clears throat> I can't act, I can't do magic. Very good, thank you. Um, I will step, I will step to Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, what's a sport you can't play? I can't play tennis, polo, rugby, and gymnastics. Ahora pregunto yo. No, no, no. La siguiente, Karen. Okay. Karen, what ability? Sorry, no, no, no la escuché bien. No. Okay, sí, tiene que hacerlo todas las preguntas. Hello. I have problem with my internet. Oh, no me puede escuchar. Okay, um, Kevin, entonces usted haga las preguntas a Mauricio, please. Okay. What what sports you can play, Mauricio? I can't play tennis, polo, rugby, and gymnastics. Okay. What abilities you can do? I can't play the guitar, the piano, and the violin. Mauricio, what talents you can do? I can't act, I can't do magic. Very good. Okay, Mauricio, ask Noemi. Noemi, what sport you can't play? I can't play tennis, polo, rugby, and gymnastic. What abilities you can't do? I can't play the guitar, the piano, and the violin. What 
talent you can do? I can't act and I can't do magic. Very good. Okay, Noemi, ask Abraham. Abraham, what sport you can't play? I can't play tennis, football, being, being acting. Como es el dicho? Gymnastics. What abilities? Noemi? What abilities you can't do? I can play the guitar, the piano, and, and the violin. Como dice el último? Violin. 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 What Allen? What Allen you can't do? I can I can do magic. Okay. okay, as Alonso. Alonso, what sport you can play? I can play tennis, polo, rugby, and gymnastics. What ability can do? I, I can uh, play the guitar, the piano, and the violin. What talent you can do? I can act. I can. I can do magic. Okay, very good. As, as Ernesto. What sport do you, what sport do you can play? I can't play tennis, polo, uh, rugby, and gymnastics. <clears throat> You can do. I can't play the guitar and the piano and the violin. Violin, violin. Ah, violin. Violin, <laughs> you can do. I can't art, art, and I can do magic. Okay, as Joshua. Joshua, what sport you can play? You can play. I can't play tennis, polo, rugby, and gymnastics. Joshua, what abilities you can't do? I can't play the guitar, the piano, and the violin. Uh, what talent you can't do? I can't add, I can't do magic. Very good. Okay, let's go on. Vamos a continuar para ver qué sigue. Okay, and the next one is the next lesson. La, la siguiente lección nos dice, successfully learn how to ask and answer questions using can for ability. En esta sección vamos a aprender a hacer preguntas utilizando la palabra can para habilidades. Veamos. Leamos todos. Successfully learn how to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Todos. For ability. Very good. Ok. Veamos. Oh, y aquí tenemos un, una conversación. Vamos a la conversación entonces. Escuchemos todo. Por favor. Page 66. Exercise 5. Conversation. I can't sing. 
Listen and practice. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Good. Okay. Any questions about vocabulary or anything here? Eh, preguntas sobre vocabulario, cualquier cosa aquí. No. Sure. Mm -hmm. Una pregunta. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Cómo cómo saber cuándo se pueden unir dos dos palabras a la hora de pronunciar lo que es lo que nos explicaba el otro día usted? Porque acabo de escuchar ahí en el audio en el donde dice oh no I can't sing at all. Entonces at all lo pronuncia como unido, pero pero no todas las palabras que se pronuncian lo se hace así. Entonces cuándo saberlo? Es cuando es lo que decimos la de reducciones. Más que todas las reducciones mm -hmm. se hacen cuando estamos haciendo las WH questions también. Con WH questions y algunas palabras, no todas. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. el it a lo final o en medio, el it se convierte en it y se une a la, a la palabra anterior. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. I like it. No va a decir I like it, sino que I like mm -hmm. it. ¿Mm? Ok. Eh, screenshot, vamos a, a, a practicar. Screenshot, screenshot. ¿La tiene? Yes. Yo no veo la imagen. No la veo. Alguien que le salga mejor. No, no, manden por el WhatsApp, please. Poquito. Se ve mejor. Va, ya la tiene. Ok, so let's practice. Remember. Listen to your classmate and make corrections. Escuchemos a nuestro compañero y hagamos correcciones, please. Okay, let's go. Let's go practice, 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 practice. Thank you. Okay, go to your rooms and start practicing the conversation. Start practicing the conversation. Start practicing the conversation. Ok, voy a empezar entonces. Right. Eh, primero sería yo y así vamos a continuar. Voy a hacer. Oh, oh, look, a tal context on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What I can I do? What, no. can, what I, can I do? What can I do? What can I, what do? Can I do? What can I do? Ahora Alonso. Um, you can sing really, really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, now I can't sing all at all, but I, I can play. tomar un, un foto normal la otra skin. Vaya, tratemos. Okay. Okay. okay, Abraham. Oh, look, there's there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent. No entiendo la otra parte. Contest. ¿Cómo? Contest. La pues sería I can't enter talent. Enter. What can do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Uh -huh. You can sing really well. Oh, that well you can do.
<laughs> okay, almost everybody's coming back. Almost everybody's here. Okay, so we're going to continue. Let's see. I'm still missing two persons. Todavía nos faltan. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, one more, one more. Profe, y dijo algo de los videos. Es que no puede entrar justo a la hora. De los videos. Que no, de... No, 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 no. Ok. Ok. Noemi. No dejé practicar a mis compañeros porque no me aparecieron en la pantalla. <risa> y luego. <risa> Uh, castigo, solo castigo. aparecía eh, de repente una voz en secreto y bueno yo solo vi a Kevin entonces yo lo saludé y después una gran vergüenza si sí, ven porque necesitamos discúlpenme yo dije, no me aparecieron ahí en la pantalla no porque era una ronda no ok um, good so moving on uh, vamos a continuar. So, la práctica, eh, prácticamente estamos hablando sobre dos cosas. Uno, eh, anteriormente estábamos hablando de sports. Ayer estuvimos hablando todo de sports. What sports do you like? What sports does she like? What sports does he like? Ahora estamos haciendo otra cosa. Estamos diciendo lo que podemos y no podemos hacer. I can sing very well, but I can't play the piano. I can sing very well, but I can't play the piano. Or I can't play the guitar. No. Okay, good. Moving on. Continuemos. Para ello vamos. Quiero terminar esta sección para practicar solo mañana, okay? Let's practice. Let's continue with this, okay? Here you go. Todos ven eso? Yes, teacher. Thank yes. you. Okay, let's move on. Continuemos. Ok, y tenemos este pequeño ejercicio donde nos dice cómo utilizar Ken for ability. Escuchemos. Ok, listen up. Page 67. Exercise 7. Grammar focus. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. Okay. Vamos a la explicación de esta parte. So, en esta parte, en este lado, déjenme buscar un puntero, puntero, puntero. Where is the puntero? Pointer, pointer. Man, I have no pointer. Come on. Oh, annotate. There you go. And let's see. Pointer, 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 pointer. Spotlight. Stand. I think it's this one. I'm going to use this one. Okay, so in this part, in this part, what we're doing here is a statements. Uy. <laughs> no aprendí a dibujar. Sorry, my bad, my bad. So in this part, what we're doing are statements. Lo que estamos haciendo en esta parte son statements. ¿Qué dijimos que eran statements? ¿Se acuerdan que, que, que les dije que era statements? ¿Qué significa? 
Aceleración. Thank you very much. Very good. Alguien ha estado estudiando. Yes. Sí, aceleraciones son eh, statements. So, en este caso, tenemos statements positivos y statements negativos. Por ejemplo, decimos, I can sing very well. Yo puedo cantar muy bien. You can sing very well. Tú puedes cantar muy bien. He can sing very well. Él puede cantar muy bien. She can sing very well. Ella puede cantar muy bien. We can sing very well. Plural. Y aquí es plural. We can sing very well. Nosotros podemos cantar muy bien. Y they can sing very well. Ellos pueden cantar muy bien. Pero ahora tenemos la aceleración negativa. En este caso, bien fácil se nos hace decir can porque no hacemos ningún esfuerzo. ¿Mm? He can sing very well. No hay problema. Pero llegamos a la parte donde vamos a hacer negativos que sí tenemos que estresar la voz para que esa te suene al final. Ejemplo. I can't sing at all. O puedo decir, I can't sing very well. Yo no puedo cantar muy bien. You can't sing very well. Tú no puedes cantar muy bien. He can't sing very well. Él no puede cantar muy bien. Eh, lo que quiero que noten es que como me esfuerzo para que esa T pueda pronunciarse al final. Can't. Can't. She can't sing very well. ¿Ya? ¿Entendimos esa parte? Okay, okay. Ahora pasemos a la segunda parte que sería eh, interrogative. Y aquí ya no son aseveraciones, aquí son preguntas, interrogatives. Esta parte. ¿Ok? Comenzando aquí, por ejemplo, esta es bien importante. Miren, esta, voy a estresar esta primero. What can I do? Todos, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Todos, what can I do? What can I do? Y esa interrogación es muy importante porque usted, usted está preguntando a alguien qué puede hacer usted. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar a Noemi, Noemi, what can I do? ¿Y qué me va a responder Noemi? Si yo le digo, Noemi, what can I do? I can I do cut no. tamales. Uh, no. no, no, no. no. I, I can't cut, sería. No. Vamos a ver quién, quién, oh. quién, quién tiene una respuesta para mí si yo les pregunto, eh, what can I do? You, you can do. Oh. Ajá, you can you qué? Can, you can teach yeah. English. You can teach English. Bien. Entonces me está respondiendo positivo. Yes. Porque sí. le estoy poniendo, ¿qué puedo yo hacer? La pregunta es positivo. Si yo le quiero preguntar negativo, yo le voy a decir, eh, what can't I do? ¿Qué no puedo hacer? ¿Alguien me contesta? Sí, pero yo. No. Ok, vuelvo a preguntar. What can't I do? ¿Qué no puedo hacer yo? So usted me puede... uh, I can't, I can't cook. Can't sing. Can't. You can't. You can't sing. You can't sing. Uh, no, you can't make tamales, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Can, so, you can dance. You can ballet. dance. You can dance ballet. ballet. Yeah, very good. Ok. Well, esta preguntita así es que le está preguntando a alguien qué es lo que usted puede hacer o lo que usted mm -hmm. no puede hacer. ¿Ok? Es personal. Vale, ahora vamos aquí. Le voy a explicar. Aquí ya sería, la pregunta se hace así. Can you sing... Can you sing? ¿Puedes tú cantar? Y la respuesta, yes, I can. O si es negativa, mm. no, I can't. Lo mismo con la pregunta de, de uno mismo. Can I sing? ¿Puedo yo cantar? Alguien me va a contestar, yes, you can. O, no, you can't. No, you can't. Independientemente sea negativo. Así va a ser. Okay. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta sobre esto? Quiero que quede bien claro antes que pasemos a lo, a lo siguiente. Cuando es plural, teacher. Aquí está, mire. Por ejemplo, la pregunta. Can we sing? Can we sing? ¿Podemos nosotros cantar? Yes, yes we can. Claro que yes, sí podemos. Can. Or no, we can't. Si podemos, no podemos. 
soy igual a que, mire, aquí está en plural, we they, y aquí we they, ¿ya? Ahora, si queremos preguntar por tercera persona, tenemos que decir who can sing, cambiemos esto, vamos a cambiarlo con eh, can Noemi sing, puede cantar Noemi, can Noemi sing, entonces, ¿cuál va a ser la respuesta? Eh, yes, she can, she can, or no, she can't, ¿ya? Mm -hmm. Vale. ¿Entendimos todos? ¿O tienen alguna pregunta todavía? ¿Any questions? No. Ok, good. No. Continuemos entonces. Oh, let's close this up. Good. Let's move on. Uh, tengo que borrar eso. Yes. <laughs> my, my bad, my bad. Eraser. Ok, 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 cool. Um, continuamos entonces. Y la siguiente es el para el foro y discusión. Esto lo vamos a practicar porque necesito que me digan todo esto. Ok, todos conmigo. Can you play soccer? Can you play soccer? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I, can. Yes, I, can. I can play very well. I, I can, can play, play very, very well. well. No, I can't. No, I, no, can't. I can't. Can your brother play soccer? Can, can you your brother, brother play, play soccer? soccer? Yes, he can. Yes, yes he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. No, no he can't. Can. 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 can Eric play soccer? Can, can Eric play, can soccer? play soccer? Yes, he can. Yes, yes, yes he, can. Can. he can. He can play very well. He can he play, can play, can very, play well. very well. No, he can't. No, he no, can't. No, he he can. can. What is one sport or ability you can play or do and one you can't play or do? Todos? What is one sport or ability you can play or do and one you can't play or do? Bien, como acá, los deportes se juegan, por eso es play. Y las habilidades se hacen, por eso es do. ¿Ok? Ok. Continuamos. I can play baseball very well, but I can't play golf. ¿Todos? I can play baseball very well, but I can't play golf. My brother can play the guitar, but he can't play the piano. My brother, My brother can, can, can play the guitar, but he can't can play the piano. The piano. Bien, vamos a ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esto? ¿Questions? No questions. Ok, entonces, a la práctica. Let's practice. ¿Dónde pongo esto? Ok, so let's see. Voy a comenzar con let me see. Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Okay, Kevin. Uh, can you play soccer? Yes, I can. Toda la, toda la respuesta, sí. Okay. I can play very well. No, I can't. Good. Uh, can your brother play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. Can Eric play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. What is one sport or ability you can play or do and one you can't play or do? I can play baseball very well, but I can't play golf. My brother can play the guitar, but, but he can play the piano. Good. Okay, Kevin, ask Noemi. Noemi, can you play soccer? 
Yes, I can. I can play very well. No, I can't. Noemi, can your brother play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. Okay. Can Eric play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. What is one sport or ability you can play or do? Um, one you can play or do? I can play baseball very well, but I can play golf. Bueno, My bro no me, no me. ¿Sí? En la primera estuvo bien, pero la segunda dijo can. Yes, can't. Can't. Ver, para la T, por favor. Okay. okay. I can play baseball very well, but I can't play golf. Yes. My brother can't play the guitar, but he can't play the piano. Very good. Okay, no, me ask Mauricio. Mauricio, can you play soccer? Yes, I can. I can play very well. No, I can't. Can your brother play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. Can Eric play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. What is one sport or ability you can play or do? And why you can't play or do? Or do, do. Or do. Mm -hmm. I can play baseball very well, but I can't play golf. My brother can play the guitar, but they can't play the piano. Very good. Mauricio, a Silvia. Silvia. Can you play soccer? Yes, I can. I can play very well. No, I can't. Can your brother play soccer? Yes, he can. He can. He can play very well. No, he can't. Can Eric play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. What is one sport ability you can play or do? And one you can't play or do? I can play baseball very well, but I can't play golf. My brother can play the guitar, but he can't play the piano. Very good. Okay, um, as Alonso. Alonso. Can you play soccer? Yes, I can. I can play very well. No, I can. Can your brother play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No. Can Eric play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can. What is what is one sport or ability you can play or do, and one and one you can't play or do? Okay, um, as Ernesto. Ernesto, can you play soccer? Yes, I can. I, I can play very well. No, I can't. Can 
can your brother play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. Can Eric play soccer? Yes, he can. He can be play very well. No, he can't. What is one sport or hobby you can play or, or do? And what you can play or do? I can play baseball very well, um, but I can't play golf. My brother can play the guitar, but uh, he can't play the, the piano. Yes, very good. Okay, as Hazy. Hazy, can you play soccer? Yes, I can. I can play very well. No, I can't. Can your brother play soccer? Yes, I can. He can play very well. No, he can't. Can Eric play soccer? Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. What is one sport or ability you can play or do and one you can't play or do? I can play baseball very well, but I can't play ball. My brother can play the guitar, but he can't play the piano. Good. Thank you very much. Que antes de continuar, preguntémosle, pregúntele a Karen, por Karen, can you play soccer? Yes, I can. I can play very well. No, I can't. Can you brother play soccer? Yes, yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. Can Eddie play soccer? Hello. Can Eddie play Hola. soccer? Hola, ¿me escuchas? Sí, lo escuchamos. Okay. We can hear you. Eddie yeah. play soccer. Yes, he can. He can play very well. No, he can't. What is one sport or ability you can play or do and you can play or do? I can play baseball very well, but I can't play golf. My brother can play the guitar, but he can't play the piano. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. No vamos a practicar todo porque eso no va a ir el tiempo. Así que vamos a pasar a lo siguiente. We're going to continue, okay? So, the next one is discussing different abilities and talents. Eh, vamos a aprender vocabulario para hablar de talentos y habilidades. Ok, let's go. Ok, escuchemos todos. Page 68, exercise 9. Word power. Complete the word map with abilities and talents from the list. Then listen and check. Musical or artistic. Paint pictures. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Okay, good. So this is only for vocabulary. Esto es solo para vocabulario. Preguntas? 
Any questions here? No. Okay, good. Moving on. This is for a discussion. Musical or artistic? Todos? Music. Music. Musical or artistic? Musical or artistic? I can sing very well, but I can't play the, pia the guitar. I, I can, can sing, sing very well, but I, but can't, I can't play the guitar. Play the guitar. Athletic. 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 I can play baseball very well, but I can't do gymnastics. I can play baseball very well, but I can't do gymnastics. Technical or mechanical? Technical or mechanical. I can fix my motorcycle, but I can't fix cars. I can fix my motorcycle, but I can't fix cars. Other. 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 I can cook many dishes, but I can't make tamales. I can, I can, can cook, cook many, many dishes, dishes I can, but I can't, I can't make, make tamales. tamales. Good. So, esta es la forma como decimos que hacemos una cosa bien, pero la otra no la podemos hacer. ¿Ok? ¿Preguntas? Está bien. Okie dokie. So, vamos a lo último que es el reading. Es la lectura. En esto nos vamos a enfocar más que todo en los números. Quiero enfocarme en los números que dice él. ¿okay? Veamos. Esta es la última parte de la sección 5. Recuerden que mañana solo quiero que practiquemos preguntas y respuestas. Let's listen to this. O escuchemos esto. Page 69. Exercise 11. Reading. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take eight or ten days to race across America, from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight to ten days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest Downriver Race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Okie dokie. So, como dije anteriormente, aquí nos vamos a enfocar a la pronunciación de los números. So, vamos a la primera y dice... The climb is 1,050 feet. The climb is 1,050 feet. Todos? The climb is... The climb is 1,050 feet. The climb is 150 feet. No, no, 100. 1,050 feet. 1,000. Yes, the climb is 1,050 feet. Lo siguiente. 300, 300, what, 320 meters, 320 meters, total. 320 meters. What time you put in the city? 320 meters. 320 meters. 
86 floors. 86 floors. 86 floors. 86 floors. Or 1,575 steps. Or 1,575. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Or 1,575 steps. Otra vez. Or 1,575 steps. 1,575 steps. 1,575 steps. 1,575 steps. Good. Vamos a la siguiente. Dice. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 miles. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 miles. Todos? Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 miles. Listen, listen. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 miles. Todos? Well, since I in this 200, 2,000, 200, not 200, 2,000. 2,000. 2,900 miles. 2,900 miles. 2,900 miles. Bye. Okay, so let's go to the next. 4,667,000. 4,667,000. Todos? 4,667 kilómetros. No, 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 kilómetros. no, 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 25.7 miles, 25.7 miles, todos? 25.7 miles. No, the yeah. can. Winners complete the 25.7 miles. Otra vez. Winners complete the, the 25.7 25. miles. 25.5 miles. kilometers. 41.5 kilometers. 41.5 kilometers. Y lo último tenemos. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome over 1,150 miles. Todos. Race from Race downtown. For downtown. Downtown. Anchorage. 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 Nome. To Nome. Nome. Over 1,000. Over 1,000. 150 150 miles 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 1850 kilómetros 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 es entendible, ustedes son eh, basic, básico 2, so números hasta cuánto me lo saben. <risa> Salteado, teacher. <risa> ok, uh, como les digo, me gustaría tener un poquito más uh, tiempo para practicar ese tipo de cosas que se nos van y que son súper importantes, ok. Um, pero el tiempo se nos acaba, ya saben que el tiempo vuela cuando estamos disfrutando. So, eh, tomorrow, para mañana, vamos a, a empezar. Solo vamos a tener la práctica del presente continuo y presente simple con un nuevo verbo. ¿Qué verbo vimos hoy en el día? ¿Qué verbo vimos? Can't. Can't. Verbo can. No, no. Can't. Ese, es, ese es habilidad. Verbo. Oh. Verbo. verbo make, sí, do. Sing, make y do. Ve. Uh -huh. Tres verbos importantes. Make, sing, and do. Bueno, mañana les tengo un nuevo verbo en los cuales vamos a practicar con esos dos tiempos. Lo que aprendieron en, en, en el módulo 1 y lo que estamos aprendiendo en el módulo 2, que es presente simple. Ok? So, you guys have a good night. I see you tomorrow, God willing. 
Have a good See night. See you tomorrow. Good See night. Have a good night, night teacher. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Sleep well. Duerman bien. Sleep well. Igualmente. Thank you. Same to you. Se dice, dice. Igualmente. Same to you. Same? Same to you. Same to you. Teacher. Okay. Have I a good see. night. Good night. Good night.